Day seven cycling across the USA from Miami to LA, all to raise money for Get Kids Going, a fantastic charity that look after disabled children. Today, we are riding from Lake City to Monticello, or Monticello. I apologize now for the mispronunciation of one of those. It's the day after our rest day, Justin, so we should be super strong. Exactly. Do you feel strong? Yeah. We're going through the birthplace of Ray Charles today. Are we? Yeah, but it's not Monticello. On the road again, day number seven, and the first rest day of the trip is done. You would think a rest day would make us feel better, but we feel exactly the same as we did before the rest day. We were on this road today for 73 miles. At least that makes navigation nice and easy. Justin has some upgrades to his bike, which I'll show you in a minute. And in today's episode, we're gonna cover a few recurring questions that you guys have been asking throughout the last few days. Today will also officially be the most climbing in one ride that we've done. Right, two miles down the road, puncher. Huh, that worked kind of well. Here's a cool little thing, tubeless plug. This is a special one, which you can fit in on the other side. Uh, just there if you've got a SRAM crank then you always know where it is and it's easy and quick to find uh, I need to put some air in this now uh, there's spit all over that is that from your mouth well yeah. obviously it's from your mouth. where else would the spit be coming from that's really disgusting thank you Francis <laughs> thanks for your help I did offer you said he didn't need it you said just stay here and be calm so that's what I'm doing staying here and being calm you look like you've had some practice with that action <laughs> I'm glad I'm running tubeless because you're stood at the side of the road fixing it for a lot less time usually. That worked really well, but I am now covered. Like my hands have got sealant on, my bike has got sealant on, my drivetrain has got sealant on, Justin's got some sealant on him. There's a whole lot of sealant. I brought some extra so I can top it up if I need to. There's no perfect solution. I love cycling. Ugh. I needed to use the toilet and there wasn't any toilet paper and the whole thing said out of order and I asked them if she had any toilet paper and she said no and I said can I buy some toilet paper she said no we don't sell it and I was like you don't sell any she said no we stopped selling it because people kept on using it I feel like there's a hole in this business plan mm -hmm. is there no milk Justin? what do you think Francis? <laughs> they probably stopped selling it because people were buying it <laughs> what they did sell was that mad Vietnamese herbs that you were talking about Yeah, it's good shit I told you some guys came all the way up in California. Oh yeah, we, that's where we're going. We're doing it all for charity, to raise some money for disabled children, for equipment like this. I can tell you good and strong. God bless you guys though. Let me see you. Thank you so much. Well. Willie. Nice to meet you. All right. I have a barbecue stand. I do my barbecue over there or whatever, but I don't do it on a Sunday. Put my wheelchair onto the back. And then I just pedals with his arm. I see why he build up. That's there. why he's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Willie Barbecue, Live Oak, Florida. The next town will be Valdosta. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Yes, sir. And I hope you guys good luck. Thank you. Thank you One day we'll come back for your barbecue. Okay. I'm sure Willie won't mind me telling you this. He's 76 years old. Can you believe that? What a guy. Super nice guy. Has a little barbecue that he runs here every day. It must be the barbecue keeping him young. Very glad we stopped there. Little refuel. Back on the road. The same straight road for another 50 miles. Run into me! Ow! Ow! What the f man? Violence against disabled people. You got a helmet on. Yeah, it makes it worse. It spreads out Hurry the up. area. I want lunch. <laughs> Found another paradise. We appear to have stopped in the nicest town in America. This is like one of the towns you see in the movies, but like one of the movies where a clown terrorizes children. We're cycling from Miami Beach to Los Angeles, and we're on day, day seven at the moment. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm towing my wheelchair behind me on that bike there. <laughs> okay, names. Justin. Yeah. Okay, do you know Jesus? I do. Amen. Do you walk with him? 
I don't walk at all, unfortunately. Cheers, guys. Welcome. Ketchup if you need it. Sweet potato fries and all yeah. those. Yeah. Thank you so nice. much. I'm just at Grumpy's, uh, eating some super nutritious deep fried corn. And something amazing has happened. We have just gone over 25,000 pounds of donations on the Just Giving Get Kids Going. Thank you so much to everybody who's donated. We're going to have to raise our target. Obviously, there's been some big donations. There's the stuff from the Rubin Foundation, which is 5,000 pounds, which we haven't actually added yet. No, nope. and it's also R-U-B-I-N, not R-E-U-B-E-N. Different Rubens. Different Rubens. Rubin family from Berghaus, who have also very kindly supplied us with some kit, which we will be showing later on when the weather allows it. Also want to say a very special shout out. We, although we've had some amazing big donations, the most incredible thing for us has been all of the individual, very small amounts that people have just been giving whatever they can, whether it be $5, $10, $1. $20 from Willy. $20 from Willy. <laughs> it all adds up. It all adds up and it just means the world. So thank you. You really smell. Do I really smell? Yeah, you really smell. Those ladies notice how much we smell. Probably, they're just too polite. <laughs> is it really that bad? I can smell you from here. I'm like a meter away. <laughs> This is why we always choose to sit outside. Oh, and a special mention to the uh, sweet potato fries. Look at that. <laughs> Gotta say, roads today have been absolutely spot on. We've had a tailwind, don't want to curse it, probably just cursed it. It's a Sunday, there have been barely any cars, surface has been super smooth, we've just been really really fast and efficient and we've managed to stop and enjoy ourselves as well, so what's not to love? Dustin, every time we stop, we stop on the right hand side of the road because we're too lazy to cross the road which is actually quite annoying when you've got a handbike but it means every single time we're in the sun and we're not able to see the Ray Charles Memorial we which can is see it on it's just there it's literally just there <laughs> I can't be bothered to go over there because it's on the wrong side of the road <laughs> so what we're gonna we can just look at it on Google Images in fact I can put an image in here there's a cool dog though there's a cool dog so we are in a town called Greenville, which is uh, where Ray Charles, famous musician, amazing pianist, grew up. You know that thing there is a, a giant maraca because he was famous for playing maracas. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Hey, the hill blocks the view, Justin. Can you see? I can. Oh. I can save the concrete. Hey, this is a one-star motel. I know, man. This is like the Ritz compared to Palatka. <laughs> <laughs> this is well nice. No blood on the walls. The no bed, like the windows are clean. Painting of something. It's a beach. It's a beach. It's a beach. Yeah, I remember beaches from two months ago when we were riding in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Justin. Been trying to answer this question for a few days now. It's time to answer it. Why do you pedal like this and not like this? Very simply, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to steer. You pedal in unison so that you can steer the handbike. That's literally it. Oh. Sorry, it's not a more interesting answer. That's the only reason. <laughs> if you were doing that, you'd be, you'd have to have it. I feel like you would be stretching too far as well. I don't know. I'm not a biomechanicsist or a hand cyclist. I could be. You could, you could be for the next day. Tomorrow. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. You ride my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for that tomorrow, guys! <laughs> <laughs>